involved in this real side experience would be the presence of a bipedal, two-legged, feline, body form species. The simulators are teeming with all form and expression of a body type for the consciousness that each real awareness animates not only stores the ideas we create or those created by others we agree with as the simulation we each will experience while in a creation, but affected also is a body form which has the mechanics to decode these ideas into the very simulation experienced. We each are then not only the generator of our experiences, but the experiencer of them also, with our own personal creational simulator affording a machinery as it were. The agreements the consciousness comprises of, the choices we have made, the intents we have set in motion, and ideas we have chased, according to the nature of the ideas, so affected are reflected creational position circumstances and body forms accordingly. Generally speaking then, the more life-supporting of our choices and actions, our agreements, the more we affect for ourselves what would be considered the more savoury body forms and areas of creation as our positioning, and the more restricting and abrasive of others are our choices, so we manifest for ourselves less favourable and dismal creational spots, and with a body form as distorted as the consciousness we have constructed, as everything equals itself. And so, unlimited expression of a body form is possible. Anything can be experienced in a computer game-like simulator, where really, although the effects may take the moments they do to manifest on the physical, on the real side and in actuality, they are instantly so. And really then, in regards to the idea agreements that affect as a body form and creational positioning, it literally is a case of a click, click, enter. And indeed, have I shared real side experiences where revealed to me has been the myriad expression of a body type varieties, and important is it to consider that regardless of the body type, real awareness animates through it all with the same overall objective, that of ultimately recognising the ears through the comparison that everything creational, including the body types, all dimensional life positions, circumstances, and every facet and idea aspect of a consciousness and the personal self affords. Comparing the ideas that are individualised, segregated aspects of the everything reality that the isness wholeness can be recognised from the pieces, the parts, that the creational mechanics are designed to present in isolation. One of the species I have encountered and shared on previous real side experiences are the feline races. If you are familiar with the Skyrim Elder Scrolls, the computer game, the species are called Khajiits. These would provide a good visual reference, as the real side encountered species literally are walking, talking cats, and one expression of such a species are known as the Lyrons, for example. As the various species tend overwhelmingly have a certain intent in inclination, as much as the reptilians had chosen abrasiveness and domination as their consciousness design, so the various expressions of a cat people tend lean more toward operating in ways that are not destructive, 
that although they too will be personal self immersed generally and going through their creational process, they at least don't seek to subjugate and enslave other species, even though they would have the capability, as they boast a spacefaring technology and advanced consciousness developed intellects and so forth. And indeed, as the great creational wake-up proceeds, the various feline races are among those stepping up and choosing to become more aware. And I have shared how they also are assisting in many real-side galactic assignment capacities, including one experience, for example, where they were tasked with disarming and shutting down certain human-suppressing subliminal technologies as stationed on the Earth's moon. In this real-side experience, I would find myself interjected in what would take place, and not simply observing from an aside from the simulated experience, real awareness position, as we can do if engaging or interacting with the simulation or participants isn't necessary. I would be stationed in what was a vast spacecraft of some kind, but which also doubled up as a city. For this ship had the ability to enter the atmosphere of other planets, to become a stationary and restructure itself, that it become effectively a sky city. The destination of the ship would be the planet Earth, and I have shared, along with others, how revealed on the real side is the inbound alien armada, a fleet representing a consortium of various stepping up alien body types, who as part of their agreed to assisting of humans participation, so the intent is to make their presence known globally, and to bring all humanity into a kind of Star Trek-like conglomeration of real awareness embracing a species, assuming the dark forces don't get their way first, or rather their depopulation and apocalyptic human consciousness installed agreements take prominence in human consciousness and are maintained long enough that they are processed through and become physical level manifest. But even if the dark forces do manage to have the humans manifest the circumstances they desire, as I previously revealed, so are contingency plans in place, that despite this possibility, the alien armada remains inbound to Earth. That this vast spaceship was also destined for Earth, as I said, and although wasn't officially part of the alien armada, the species it contained were still those also stepping up and becoming more aware, choosing to make their presence known globally, and to assist in whatever capacity they might, that is life and awareness beneficial. And although there were quite the assortment of stepping up body forms aboard, predominantly those present were the bipedal feline species. As I said, vast numbers of the various expressions of the felines are stepping up, and they had then an intention to also travel to the Earth. I would be featuring in the ship in my usual human form, and mingling among the various cat people, speaking with them, sharing the is references, etc. I would at one point be eating a meal with them. It comprised of a kind of a bread that was a nutritious and a staple of their diet. It had a strange name of their language that I couldn't bring back to the physical on waking. Communication overall not an issue, as this always is made possible through the real awareness. The real awareness as a part of the isness, everything reality, 
permeating through all consciousness affected form and feature, all ideas then a consciousness present are available, including all languages throughout multi-dimensional creation, and the real awareness can readily communicate through its simulated inserted forms with any being or species we might encounter. Present also on the ship would be an assortment of robotic body forms, representing many different mechanical species. For I have shared, and others have also, the presence of this expression of body type. Again, like all body forms, these are simply alternative vehicles for real awareness to experience creation through, and like the various feline species, many of these various robot species are also stepping up, as had been revealed on the real side, and desiring to support Duane and the Goyards in whatever way they are able. It would seem then, that represented on the ship inbound for Earth were many feline and robotic species, among others. There would be a brief scene that interspersed with the main theme, that of the cat and robot ship heading for the Earth, where I would find myself in my physical level UK former house, recreated on the real side. The real side of recreated homes represent the consciousness, the consciousness a construct which will include all idea agreements we have as extended to others, and so we will see this symbolically as these are very beings we have agreements with as featuring in our real side houses, and where within our houses they are placed reveals as to if we are consciously or unconsciously in agreement with them. Generally, with the conscious agreements, so the individuals will be present on the ground floors, and should they be positioned on the upper floor, so these are more other dimensional agreements which the physical level personal self may or may not be aware of, and the areas of the house construed as more storage areas, the attic, the basement, etc., these represent where agreements are subconsciously placed. On the ground floor, then, would be a present my sister Lindsay, who still fluctuates from her real intent, and operating then in more beneficial capacities to her personal self, and where her real side actions are quite the opposite. I do then maintain agreement with her. I leave the consciousness representing house a door open, so to speak, as potentially she always showed a promise where her intent with the ears was concerned, despite her back and forths, and sometimes to the extent of her interfering and obstructing on behalf of the dark forces. She seemed to be joining me now in a more sincere capacity, and although a scene that cut into the main feature, it was related in regards to the robotic body forms present on the Earth inbound ship. For I would place as though a small robotic figurine on a table in the middle of the living room area of my house, this served as a means of interface. For bands of energy in varying colours would begin to revolve around the figurine, causing it to spin, and superimposed over the figurine now was the upper torso of a robot, a representative of his entire species interests that being real is recognising intent and stationed on the inbound to Earth ship. The robot would communicate with myself and Lindsay, and although the specifics of what was exchanged I didn't bring back to the physical, 
the overall impression of it was as though my giving the final green light as it were, that the ship was a safe to enter Earth's atmosphere, as though certain factors and variables had to be managed, delicate computations and such, requirements that this robot needed assurances for that the ship be able to approach without hindrance or mishap. And now the ship would arrive at the planet Earth. It would enter the atmosphere and establish itself in the skies, restructuring into a floating mega-city made apparent for all humanity to see. Aboard the ship this whole time that I hadn't been aware of until this moment was a Duane. It was as though he had been beamed aboard the colossal ship wherever in multi-dimensional creation and by whatever means this had been achieved, secured agreements with the crew, the cats, the robots, and the other species are present, and now was returning to the Earth with them, as a part of the overall idea of the Awareness Alien Confederation making a contact with humanity and bringing them into this real awareness conglomeration of a species, along with the alien armada that would shortly be making its presence known also. In this experience, there was no sign of the Dark Force's control of humanity having advanced as was revealed when the alien armada arrived in a previous experience I shared, where necessary was the alternative plan where only those stepping up could not only witness the fleet but be located to creational positions more conducive for the awareness of process. That it was as though the Dark Forces had more or less lost their hold on humanity, the agreements that facilitated their ability to perpetuate humanity's overall control dissolved, and now all of humanity very likely would become a part of the alien aware confederation, human consciousness overall intent set with becoming more aware, as though a great shift had taken a place. And now there was as though a kind of glowing, spiralling stairway made available for Duane, from the ship that became the Sky City, descending all the way to the ground. Impressions suggested that Duane, the guides, and the new friend's overall efforts had fragmented the controlled rigidity of the human consciousness by whatever means this had been so. And now all that was required symbolically was for Duane to reach the ground of the earth from the glowing stairway made available from the sky city, as though with human consciousness relieved of the agreements effecting as continued enslaved circumstances by the controllers, the next step was for the Isness light to touch upon the earth, to be known and embraced by all, the Isness that Duane represented. Elements of the dark forces clinging to their attitudes and decided destructiveness of others, and indeed themselves, would now be blasting a laser fire at Duane as he descended. More symbolic than literal, the kind of twisted ideas the dark forces would wish to be embraced and agreed upon, but as they failed to hit their target, indicating Duane remaining steadfast in his focus with the ears, and his intent to shine like the sun on everybody in creation. For any projectile on the real side, if not a literal situation, is a purely representational. These are ideas that the one firing the bullet or laser fire wish to have the target agree with. Should the projectiles hit the target, so this reveals the agreement is secured, 
and if not, so the agreement is disregarded. And as Duane proceeded to descend, unable to be brought down by the dark forces, and their idea representing a laser fire, a group and myself would be returning fire, striking the dark force would be idea assailants. That our ideas then, those more life beneficial, were being accepted by as though the earth-based dark forces last stand against the new wave, those still clinging to their destructive and controlling intents, even in the face of humanity's great awakening, that they too were brought around to that which makes sense, even as they stood in opposition and defiance of Duane's inevitable is sharing to all the earth a touchdown to the planet's surface. As I said, in humanity's consciousness will be various agreement potentialities, most of which are dark force implanted, and those that will therefore be of a controlling, depopulating, apocalyptic persuasion, but additionally will be those of the alien armada and the experience possibility I shared here. And as is always the case, which becomes, as human overall experience, depends on which idea is maintained as the forerunning agreement long enough that it process through and become a physical level actualized. All agreements are in effect now in isness reality terms, but the physical level is somewhat delayed through the inclusion of time and space ideas, which sequence the causes to effects that the effect isn't immediately on the back of the cause, like a movie that is complete and contained in its entirety on the disc, but through the consciousness affecting physical level providing physical vehicle body mechanics, so awareness must sit through what already is a completed movie, but should the agreement change, so the disc is exchanged for another movie, a movie's end that then only can be experienced if the causal agreement is maintained to its effect conclusion. Okay, Kevin, super duper. Um, yeah, I'm getting excited about this because we get to do something real here. So we will see how this comes in and getting people's attention. This is the fun part. Yes, that's terrific. What a great movie. Uh, wow. All right, let's see what happens. Yes, uh, as we focus and learn to recognize the isness. Uh, this is all possible. We get to have the most fun. Thank you so much. That's great. Thank you.